So you've played Commands and Colors Napoleonics. Well, the base game at least. So today we're looking at four of the expansions for Command and Colors Napoleonics, and these are just the army expansions. I'm Alexander from theplayers8.com, and these are put out by GMT Games, and they just put these out. So if you have Napoleonics and you're interested in looking at them, these are just army expansions. These give you a ton more to your game and make the game you already have way more playable. Um, each of these has a full army in them. So we have the Spanish army, the Austrian army, and we have the Russian army and the Prussian army. Um, these three come with 20 new battles. This one comes with 18. So you don't have to get all of these, but if you did, you're looking at 78 more scenarios than you had. That's a heck of a lot and more than most games will ever have that aren't advanced squad leader. So what we'll do is we'll just take a quick look at what you're going to get in each one of these if you decide to pick them up. Obviously the first thing you're going to get is a huge number of blocks. So this is the Spanish army, so they're nice and yellow, and you got some blue units in there as well. And this one says Expansion 1, Spanish army. And we have here a good um, you know, introductory introduction of what it is, new leaders and units. Um, French, so it, it, those blue ones, has blue blocks in there, so you do get some new French units. Um, you get the yellow Spanish units, and it explains what they all are. And then, basically, there's one new game mechanic, which is a Spanish guerrilla action. And there's a couple of new tiles in here, which we'll get to, but everything else is just battles after battles after battles after battles. So you can play through the whole Spanish Peninsula campaign, basically. Um, French, you know, taking the the Spanish on, and then the British kind of taking back Spain and defeating the French with the help of the Spanish liberating them, that kind of a thing. So that's pretty neat. You're going to get a lot of stuff in there. You do get new play aids, which is very nice. Okay, let's get these. Uh, it looks like there's... All right, so there's, like you would expect, two each of the new play aids. So this is a bifold. Uh, so you get, this is British, Spanish, Portuguese, French, British, Spanish, Portuguese. Okay, the French? No, okay. So these are kind of the unit charts, tells you movement, special notes, range, dice, firing capabilities, things like that. So there's two of these, these are identical, each player is going to have one, so you don't need to have your head in a rule book. Terrain effects chart, again identical, one for each player. Terrain tile effects chart, so it's just more of the same, all the different tiles that you might have on the board. And then the fun stuff. You have, so a half sheet of counters, so these are um, artillery pieces, Spanish leaders on horses. And then we have, okay, we have these blue units, so you've got some militia, French line, Spanish line infantry, and some more Spanish line infantry and light infantry as well, and then a whole bunch of Spanish cavalry, some French light guard cavalry down here as well, a whole bunch of more Spanish cavalry. And then you have the French Heavy Cavalry, which is really, really cool. So you've got three and a half sticker sheets to go there. And then you'd have, I think it's one, two-ish sheets. So you've got some hills and forests. And on the back here, you have like a, well look, it's Waterloo, right? It's, it's a, like a walled farm. Um, I know it's not Waterloo, but... It looks like it is. You got a nice river with a bridge, fortified hills, and you have this new um, infantry track here as well. And these are these are a reference. That you put these squares out on the board. When they get congested, you have to move through the squares to achieve objectives. And I think that's everything that's in here. You have the little guerrilla action tokens. These were those new mechanics that were in the box. You put those out and you affect that the board in the way those do that. But that's it, that's what an army expansion looks like. So very quickly, 
18 new battles in that one. Let's look at the Austrians. White and blue. White for the Austrians. Blue for French. It says 20. So this is expansion 3. Okay. The other ones, I can't see that they're numbered. All the same stuff. Whole bunch of Austrian units. Whole bunch of French units. Again, one new game mechanic though. So nothing overwhelming in these expansions. Battalion mass counters. And then, again, straight into it. This has 20 new battles in it. 20. And some of these have some really cool terrain in it. I don't know if you saw that. You have like a delta here. Oh, you have... That was the other one that was cool. This is really neat. I think this will be a fantastic, very interesting strategic battle to fight out. Just a whole ton of these. Um, this is a big sticker sheet. It says peel here. Not sure about that. Because all the, all the tiles are in here. Yeah, that is interesting. Okay. I've got all my tiles are in the bottom here. We have some of the these stickers to put together. I think these are proofs. I'm not sure these are supposed to be in here. <laughs> but again, four full sheets of stickers. Look at these really cool artillery pieces. Oh, love it. These Austrian horse-drawn artillery or foot artillery. Just the, I like the printed stickers because they've got really cool detail on them. Look at these heavy cur curacies. I'm not even gonna, just look at how cool those look. I, I don't know, I, I like the game that looks good and this looks good. Um, like I said, whole sheet of tiles, these pop out very easily so you don't have any mess basically. And you do get another one of these um, infantry the square sheet and some victory markers and these battalion mass markers for those special actions play aids again were the same as the the Spanish army it's the new um, terrain effects charts and then the new army types so this has the Austrian army in it and the French because all of the battles in this one were Austrian. There wasn't any other ones in here, I don't think. It looked all like it was French-Austrian the whole way around. Yep. I don't see anything else in here. Like the uh, other one had some British in there. Not the case. So that's the Austrian army expansion. As you can imagine, the Prussian army, very similar in style. Now these... They're a very dark grey block. I really like that colour. We have here one, two, three, four count four sticker sheets. Counter sheets, sticker sheets. Again, this the the beautiful detail that you get on stickers. It's just nice to have a change from hex and counter war games. His stickers are big. You get really nice detail on them. I, I don't know. I just really like that. Even even the old guard. I don't know. That's just a really good looking block to have on a table. And there's something to be said about having eye candy when you're playing a war game. So we have here, again, terrain effects charts. Two of those. Here we have, um, this is Prussian army, French army. These are identical. This is French army, Prussian army on the back. So whichever player is playing one of those gets the other one. We have in this one, more rivers and bridges and swamp, more towns and fortifications. Oh, I'm gonna put this up. More rivers and bridges and swamp. And what's on the back of this one? Oh! Mm, more towns and fortifications. And we have a little, as you would imagine, the infantry track here. These are the iron will markers. 
and some victory banners as well. And if we look at this is expansion four. Again, new stuff in the rule book, but really just an explanation of the unit types and a single new game mechanic, the iron will of the Prussians. They were very fierce combatants, hard to crush the Prussian will, an all very proud, noble uh, nation. And then 20 new scenarios, right? You can play this game basically endlessly if you really wanted to and you bought all these expansions. So that's the Prussian army. And then the, the last one that we have here is the Russian army. Not to be mistaken with the Prussian army. So this is Imperial Russians. You have here these green units. And some Frenches in there as well. And here you've got all of those units. So you've got some line infantry. These are like light ones. Normal line. Russian heavy cavalry. Look at that. Horse drawn artillery. Those things are huge. More. There's four sheets of those counters. We have play aid charts. More. These are all more of the same terrain types. This has a quick reference guide. This is new. There's two of these. So this is a single quick reference guide, which has code blocks, movement range, notes. This is kind of a condensed version of this that's all combined. So this might be a pretty neat enhancement to the game, depending on how much you play this. This is expansion number two. So it went Spanish, Russian, Austrian and Prussian. I think that's the order in which it went. Um, the new mechanic in this one is the battle pre-battle Mother Russia roll. That's it. As there's a special fancy pants roll that the Russians make it sounds like. And again, 20 new scenarios. So an ungodly amount of game if you want to get into Napoleonics. And if you don't want to invest in miniatures and painting and a lot of heavy rules learning. Because this game system is very easy to pick up. And it's very easy to play and sit down, and it's easy to get other people to play this, and there's no need to be scared off by historical wargaming. Uh -huh. These are the expansions for Command and Color Napoleonics. There's an absolute ton of them out there, so check it out if this is something you're interested in. Um, I can't wait to start getting these to the table, because I've played a few Napoleonic games in my time, but not a lot, and I like lining them up. I like the actual battles. I think that's a fascinating aspect of it, so... We're going to crack this open and play this heavily. Uh, so appreciate you guys tuning in. And these have been expansions 1, 2, 3, and 4 for Commands and Colors Napoleonics. I've been Alexander from Blaze.com. Thanks for tuning in.